Hello my friends and welcome back to new video. This is the third video of the Jetpack Compose tutorial. In this video we are going to build our first application together. And I'm going to explain the let's say best structure to create a project, create application using Jetpack Compose. So if you are ready give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done and hit the bell button to be aware about the new videos and let's go to the android studio okay this is the project that we were working on it and uh, i didn't change anything after that video so i'm going to delete this part and delete all of this now we have a raw project so here let me start with creating a composable function remember that the first letter should be in capital then function first app constructor and curly brace here in this uh, function I'm going to use a text just as a test and let's use the size to maybe 32 speed okay now we need a function, another composable function to preview this application. So preview and then composable and function app preview. okay uh, to preview the application as i told you in the last video we need to pass uh, the function here into this preview function and it will appear here okay now you can see as we check together we can implement some features on the uh, preview function for example the background or the name and the name is here and the background appeared there okay now let me show you something let's install it okay the app is installed in the preview we have this text but here in the application we don't have it why because we have to pass this function here as well in the set content as i said this is the logical part and this is the ui part so first app and let's install it again okay here we have subscribe please uh, let's go further in the uh, default view of the project that uh, we will see after creating the project you saw that we had a surface here and i told you it's container uh, to keep the ui uh, and uh, you see that the preview was like that 
but in the emulator we have the big screen so if we want to see both of them just the same what we should do you can use data structure and implement a part of ui here and the rest here but i prefer as i said to separate them totally and here i will pass only the name of the function so if i want to use something like surface i prefer to have it here and then i will pass the rest of things inside it and now you can see the result now the ui that i have here in the preview and the ui that i have here in the emulator are completely the same so if i do changes here it will be implemented in both of them so it's easier to design the application okay let's go further consider we have a big application with this ui we have a lazy row here a search bar here and a lazy column here to display uh, other things where to design them here we can have multiple composable function and each function can hold the design of a, uh, one of these parts for example one function for this one for this one for this and we just need to call them one by one here or we can have this uh, first app as the main composable function here and we will call the other functions in this first and here in the set content we are going to pass only one function let me show you this so i'm going to create another composable function and i'm going to call it test test one maybe again now let me paste this text here as well and changing the text to test one and now i'm going to duplicate the whole function and changing the name of it to test two and the text to take uh, to test two again okay here in the first app i have a surface i have a text and uh, okay there is a problem here but i will solve it and i will show you this don't worry uh, i have to use some of the features of the jetpack compose now but you don't know anything about them don't worry in the next videos i will explain them fully so here So I'm going to let me not use this column now show you the problem that I was talking about it then I will solve the problem so test one will be passed here and then test two here okay the preview is uh, done and you see that I have all of the text here subscribe and test one and test two on top of each other so we have to use this column to separate them
okay now we have the hardcore uh, like the text that we passed into the first app and two functions so as you see i can design a part of the ui here and pass some others uh, some other functions here into this function and finally pass the main composable function to the set content and this is the result just consider like that this uh, subscribe please represent uh, this lazy row the test one represents this search and the test two represents this uh, lazy column so we can have this kind of application just like that and again let me show you if i want to pass everything here in the set content i can I can have this but as you see in the uh, preview function I have only the function that I passed to this first app and I cannot see the others but if I install the application the structure is followed and you see those three functions here because we pass them all here so i encourage you to have the first structure to design uh, each part separately and pass them in one main composable function and pass that one here if you use this kind of a structure the ui that you see in the preview will be different with the ui that you have here so uh, that doesn't make sense even to use the preview function or you can if you don't want to see the preview here you can create this application like that and just see the result in the emulator okay that was everything about uh, this video and the structure of the application and in the next video i'm going to explain you the surface and the features of the surface and in the next videos, I will talk about the column and modifier and so on. So be with me in the next videos. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button right now and give me a thumbs up to help this video be watched by more people and hit the bell button to be aware about the new videos. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Bye bye.